Talking about invasive aliens, <coughs> not the ones they're fighting on the U.S. border, or some things extraterrestrial, but these are the invasive alien plants uh, that go along with the invasive alien animals, usually from other continents across the oceans. And we're introducing the most problematic, uh, the biggest ecological threats to our native ecosystems and our plants and our animals, and are starting to contaminate uh, the entire countryside. Uh, this is the number one vine problem here in New England. It's the number one invasive problem at the moment in New England. Who knows what this is? Better sweet, right? So here we are uh, along the Mystic River Reservation, uh, McDonald Park near the Mystic River, uh, an area protected by the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. Right here, we have the Oriental Bittersweet that hasn't quite gotten into its yellow leaf of the autumn, but you can see that it is bittersweet. If we reach down here, you'll see these fruits, uh, which, you know, the members of the garden clubs and various people think are very pretty and are used in fall arrangements, but each one of these is an ecological time bomb. When the bird eats the fruit of this invasive alien Oriental Bittersweet, it goes through the system and up comes the bittersweet again to kill whatever tree. Here it is killing a native staghorn sumac, which is starting to come into its beautiful red leaves of the fall. Well, any of you who've been down along the Mystic Valley, we were, uh, Ernie and I were horrified uh, to see how much of this is out there. It's like the only plant. Now we have one species of plant that is not native to the New World whatsoever. And its, its name is Phragmites, or the giant reed. Shades out everything. You do not see a single plant of anything. If we were to walk into the middle of this bed here of Phragmites, which extends as far as we can see, there will be no native tree or shrub or vine or wildflower, no invasive, no horticultural. Nothing grows under the dense shade and the dense uh, root mass of the Phragmites. It becomes a sterile monoculture of no use to anybody here in the New World, and we haven't figured out how to get rid of it. Uh, but we're in a sea of invasive aliens here uh, in Massachusetts, and we've got to get the resolve to do something about it, or it's going to eat all of our 1,600 or so species of native plants over the next 100 years, with probably very few survivors. So we need some action here. Thank you.